Hey guys, and welcome back to the Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is Good Face, Bad Face. Uh, this is a two to five player game that is a deception based game where you're going to be getting uh, two different types of cards in your hand, good faces and bad faces. And you're going to basically be creating a stack of cards and passing it around the table. Each player is going to have the opportunity to select cards from the top if they want, flip them over and then put them in their tableau. And if they're able to get enough good faces on their field, now be before they get a bad face, they'll win the game. However, otherwise, they're gonna put the cards back in their hand, leave bad faces on their table, and otherwise try and achieve that victory or stop other people from doing so. Eventually, when somebody has all the good faces, they win. However, nobody's gonna make that easy for you. It's a very light game with basically two specific types of cards, but there's a little bit more than meets the eye in this title. We'll talk about how to set the game up, how to play, and of course, my review. To set up the game, good face, bad face, the first thing you do is you take your handy guide and then you saw, see the number of players that you're playing with. Okay, so I'm playing three players, which means I need 10 good faces and five bad faces. I'll go into the deck and pull those out. 10 good faces, five bad faces, and I'll set the rest aside. Then I'll take the deck of cards that I have gathered and I will go ahead and mix them up. I'll go ahead and shuffle them. And then after I've shuffled them, I'll deal them out to each player. And you're gonna be dealing out, in this case, five cards to each player until all the cards in the deck that you made has been emptied. Once you have your decks of cards and each player has that hand, they're going to look at the cards in their hand. They could be good faces, bad faces, a mix of both. Just depends, it's kind of random. Choose a player to start the game. That player is then going to make a stack. They can make a stack of one card, two, three, four, all the way up to their hand limit. Uh, once they have made that stack of cards, they're going to pass that stack along the table. They're going to pass it to their left. That player will then have the opportunity to do one of two things. Either take the top card of the deck and put it face up in their tableau, or they can choose to pass. If they'd like to take a card, then you can actually check the rules of the game. And basically, in the rules it states what happens with the two different types of cards that you can get. If you get a good card, you will take that card and put it face up into your tableau. That will be one of the four good cards you need to win. If you get four good cards, you win the game. If you get a good card and you already have a good card, just put it right next to the good card you have. If you get a good card when you have a bad card on the field, you will take that good card you placed and a bad card and put them into your hand, leaving whatever is left on the field, most likely bad cards or nothing. If you get a bad card, you will take that bad card, you'll put it down on your tableau, and you will pass the deck. You're basically done. If you get a bad card and you have good cards on the field, all your good cards will go back into your hand along with the bad one, which you will then pass as well. And then finally, if you get a bad card, you will take that bad card, put it next to yours, and you will pass. If you ever get three bad cards, you're simply going to take all three of them from your tableau and put them back into your hand. Additionally, if you uh, have the ability to uh, get a nice card, a good card, you can actually choose to take another card. And you can keep doing that up until the point where you get a bad card or you successfully win or there's no cards left in the stack. So for instance, if I am past this stack here, I can flip. Ah, I flipped a good card, I can keep it. Do I wanna push my luck and go again? I will. Nice, two good cards, I can keep going. Three good cards? Do I hear four? A bad card. I got a bad card. Sadly, all my good cards and that bad card will go back to my hand. And then I'll have to pass the deck on. When the deck empties uh, or somebody wins, then it's going to pass to the next player to be the person that's going to make their stack. If they don't have a stack of cards, then they're going to pass. So you can only make a stack if you have cards in your hand to make a stack. And because I was the person who made the stack, the player to my left is now the person who's gonna make the next stack. It doesn't matter where that deck ends up or how many cards are left in it. Additionally too, if the deck gets all the way back around to you, the person who was the deck person. So for instance, if I made my stack of cards and I get to look at it obviously and determine how I want to set the deck up, I can then um, go ahead, it'll go from him, he'll pass, pass, and then it's back to me. I must, I can't just pass. I must actually take the top card if it's my stack. And I can flip it over. I can also keep choosing to take the next cards or I can choose to pass at that point. Because if I'm not careful and I remember my stack or don't remember it, I might get a bad card. 
And that's basically the idea of the game Good Face, Bad Face. You're simply gonna go ahead and have players continue playing the game up until somebody gets four good cards in front of them. As soon as that happens, they win the game. Otherwise, you just keep going until someone does. All right, talk about my review now, and there's a few bonuses in the game that you might not have noticed. So before we get into my full review of the game, I actually wanted to pull out this little, um, this little question mark here that says, open me after playing the game three times. Well, I have played the game three times, and if you don't want spoilers, then uh, you can go ahead and move on until I do this, and then you can stop. <laughs> but it's not really a spoiler. It's something you probably want to know about the content of the game, so that's why I'm going to show you. In this package here, you're going to get two, a, rule, or a rule card with two sides, a blank card so you can make your own face, and you're going to get two new cards, the greed card or the greedy face and the sad face, uh, which also has rules here. Now, the, the sad face is basically a card that if it gets flipped over, uh, that player is going to, I believe it's the, they have to lose their hand and they'll pass out their hand. Uh, to the player who put the sad face in. But if the person who played the sad face is forced to draw it, they'll have to give their hand out to each player and they'll get nothing. So the sad face is kind of one of those things that can make an opponent lose all their cards in their hand, or if it comes back around to you and you draw it, then it can make you lose your cards. And then you have the greedy face. The greedy face is a card that functions like the sad face, but instead of cards in hand, it's actually gonna be the cards from their, their uh, party that have to, be, to go. So if a player turns over the greedy face, they must give the stack owner one of the cards from their party. If they do not have a card in their party, the stack owner receives nothing. And then if the greedy face is turned over by the stack owner, they place it in their party. Uh, this ends their turn, and the next stack that comes their way, they must take the top card and then add the greedy face card to their hand. So it forces players to take cards, even if they don't want to, which could set up some really funky different conditions for the game. And if you want, basically you'll just take out good faces from the deck and put these guys in instead, and now you've got an even bigger party of good face, bad face. Okay, so that's the extra little rules to the game, other than of course the blank face, where you guys, I guess you can just make up your own game. What do I think? This game is an excellent, excellent little party game. It plays five players. It plays it well at three, four, and five. I haven't played it at two, but it is a ton of fun. I wasn't sure, honestly, when I saw this game, I'm just like, okay, there's just a deck of two different types of cards. It seems kind of basic. I don't think I'm gonna like it. And I did. We played this game a number of times. And I think we played at least three or four times uh, with the base set. And then we started playing with the sad face and the greedy face. And then we played it three or four more times after that. And that was in a, a full gaming night. This was supposed to be a filler where we play this in between a, a, another game and then we switch and play the big game and then we go back and play this one. We played this one for a solid hour and a half, uh, which is crazy. We, we like really, really enjoyed this game here. Uh, it's the kind of idea of being able to like create your own stack and determine what you think people are gonna do. How many cards do you think each player is gonna wanna pull? Do they think the top cards are gonna be bad or the bottom cards? Maybe you give three good cards in your stack and then a red card and then a red card and a red card. And if you're playing four players, you stack the rest with good cards and then you can play them all out. So maybe he goes crazy and he gets hurt. Everybody else gets scared and takes just the top and gets messed up and then you win the game with your own stack. Or maybe you know that this player is one of those cheeky guys who just plays a ton of good cards and so you just keep drawing and you pull up until the point where you win the game. Uh, some people can do all kinds of different strategies. You'd be surprised at what the stack might be like. One person passed one card around the table and no one took it and they flipped it over and it was a good one. So that can be very powerful. What's also interesting too, if you have three good cards and you're being passed stacks, it's dangerous because if you pull a bad card, you're gonna take all cards into your hand. But if you pull a good card, you win. But everyone else knows that. And they're building the stack around not letting you win the game. However, there's possibilities where people can make mistakes by taking certain cards where you might actually just pull it off. And there's some really ludicrous and fun moments in the game. The cards are high quality, the faces are great, they're funny, they represent, even the two special, specific little expansion cards represent what the cards do. Um, I, I just, I'm enamored by this game. I, I really, really, really like this game. It's a very light deception game. You're, you're deducing what players are putting in their stacks, who's gonna be the next player to go, and, and also too, when you see cards being passed up by players, you can start getting an idea of, okay, there's a total of six bad cards. I just saw this person play out four of them. 
Uh, this guy already has two, so now I have the other one. So now I know all the cards that are coming in the stacks are good up until the point where it gets to the person who has bad cards. And you can kind of deduce how to win the game in that way. So it's a bit of luck, a bit of strategy. At the very beginning of the game, it starts off with you trying to gather information. And, uh, you know, you can do a whole lot with a very little amount. And the fact that they put it in high quality and it's just a ton of fun is something that I would highly recommend you picking up. If you like light deduction slash deception based games, and you want something that's easy, quick, that you can just go around the table, then I highly, highly recommend Good Face, Bad Face. This game is getting my seal of approval. It's probably one of my favorite games from Big Potato after The Chameleon. I, I, I really, really like this title. It's crazy, tiny little game, but yeah, I, I really liked it. Thank you for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review of the game Good Face, Bad Face. If you're interested, there's a link down below in the description. Might be an affiliate, might be to Big Potato, probably both. You can also check out our website, unfilteredgamer.com, blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. If you like this video and you see more than one of our videos before in the past, maybe I can get you to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, the bell notification button, we do greatly appreciate it. It shows that people are interested in our videos and we can keep making more of them for you. So you can see some smaller games that you maybe you've never heard of before. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much all I got for you this time. And as always, I look forward to making a good face and a bad face with you next time.